what's happening guys um just want to do a quick video for you guys um well part of this um here's what we got going on this is going to be what i'm shooting to do here's all the measurements of what i need to do so the motor is going in now but let's uh just put this out uh for everybody that's worried about safety don't worry guys I do have a fire stranger. I don't know. It's good to 2020, so I have to probably get a new one. But I got that. I got gloves. So, um, anyways, I, I'm gonna put a list of people that has helped me. Um, and the you should start seeing them now. All the people that's helped me. I also got to get a huge shout out to Shop Tar Talk. They're the ones who talked me, got me into the right direction. So, why don't I do any talking in my videos? My two cents don't count anymore. So, hopefully, everything goes according to plan. Hopefully, we can drop this engine in. So, let's find out in the video. See you guys.
Alright guys, got the engine laying in here. My dad and I, we got the plate centered, marked. Now we just got to pull the engine out and plate it. Got a quarter inch of gap. So, that should give me enough playroom forward and back quarter inch. I, I could shove it farther forward, but I don't feel like it. And here is my big, this is one thing I was afraid of. But my dad and I and a few other friends said just notch a sucker. So we're just going to notch, notch it right around. We got it marked, so we're just going to notch it and hopefully it clears the dry shaft. So, let's get this engine back out of here.